Okay, so straight after that last video, Master Chef, I'm gonna change you. I don't know if that's gonna break anything. No. Okay. Good. Um, Your team is victorious. Let's bump the difficulty up. Oops. Uh, what are we doing? Are we on Covenant or not? <laughs> I don't know. Um, yes, I'm changing what I'm doing. <laughs> Don't judge me. Um, I'm just going to send this guy over here. Okay. I could do it. I'm not going to because it's cheap and, you know, unintended. But I could. Um, <laughs> I don't... I am 100% certain that that's not the intention. But it would be pretty fucking funny. Um, <laughs> just swoop in and... You know, two bases within 30 seconds. Uh, so, sorry, the reason why I... Oh, we are playing on the Covenant one. The reason why I did that is because we have two supply pads here. And we have a free reactor. So, yeah, we did get three. Um, I'm not, Local units. sorry, I don't want you to actually die to that. I just wanted to place him there so I can see, uh, see what's coming. Local units. So you can go sit in there. Okay. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think there has been... That's not an Arbiter, is it? No, that's just an Honor Guard. I don't think that there has been any... Um, any change, if that makes sense. I think that that is the exact same wave. Aside from now, it's... Um, you know, a bit later. Yeah, that's definitely still the exact same wave. Um, so I was saying about, oh, maybe it was just a, um, you know, maybe it's just the the new leader being added. Almost certainly, that's uh, that's what this update was, and they, you know, the mod authors sort of, um, you know, band aid fixed. Oh, waves are now 30 seconds more in full between them. And... Don't get me wrong, it's definitely going to change it. But um, it's not the way that I would change it, personally. I would definitely, um... You know, I, I would not change the wave until, I don't think. Maybe I would keep it at two minutes. I would probably keep it at two minutes, to be fair. Because before the waves would stack up, and it would be a bit unfair. Sorry, I do want another one of them. 
know, cancel one of those, get a fortress, and come back in, and it doesn't really matter anyway. Um, <laughs> Local units. Uh, do I want... It, like, the thing is... Oh, sorry, no, 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 you, you are coming over here. I I dislike this map because it has that issue with the um, uh, what's it called like this slope it, uh, interferes with the um, it's not pathfinding like the uh, targeting and stuff it just messes with the AI And it's like you are a reactor, yeah. Local units. You know, I I don't want. I want to stay within the turret range, but at the same time, if I leave things here, they're gonna start getting stuck on this like sharp corner here. Uh, sorry, I, I should clarify, that is 100% a base game issue, it is not the fault of the mod, that is a Halo Wars thing, not a, a Judgment Edition mod thing. Um... Right, well, that's a bit of a fucking issue, isn't it? Um, Defense gauntlet research. Uh, we're just going to keep upgrading them and hope. I don't know how well that's going to work. Yeah, it, it this like specific hill. Um, well, when I say this specific hill, I mean like this specific hill, and also the one over here. Uh, they are a bit janky. Um, once that is a base game thing, um, it's just being amplified. Because, um, you know, we're, we're playing a mod where we always have things, you know, coming at our base. And so, may maybe it just missed. Maybe that was the issue. Um... I'm sort of... You see, the thing is with the Flood one, is it's very easy to just keep using infantry. With this one, with the Covenant, and with, you know, the UNSC one as well, and maybe the Forerunner one, maybe, um, those ones are a lot harder to stick to just infantry because of that local units and so i'm not do i go spartans and hijack the wraiths local units. do i Repair spam these guys and and just hope that they have enough uh I think we can live with just these snipers. They are fully upgraded. But yeah, once again, like, the slope is fucking with them. Local units. Got it. Got it. So please take out those. Got it. All units. 
I'm just like five of each. And I start upgrading those as well because Yeah, these are doing Spartan laser research quite badly. <laughs> um How do you do against a Wraith with that ability? Can you do it on this one? Not very well is, is the answer to that question. Maybe it's just placebo. I'm not sure I don't really feel. No, I think it is better, right? All units. I would say take out this guy first, because you're going to do it first. Focusing lens, research. dropping in. Where to? All units. Like this is the thing. All units. I have the ability to you know, conquer the, the infantry phase. But I don't really have any ability to deal with the tanks that come afterwards, if that makes sense. I'm going to bring everyone back. See, that's the thing. Like, this slope is just annoying. I'm gonna swap this over to being a railgun, and even then I don't think it's gonna do much because it's the slope that is the issue. <laughs> it is the terrain that causes these problems. I'll, I will build one of them. We'll get some spawns and all units. I'm I'm gonna move the right point over to there. Uh do I super care about this? Not really. Do I want to sacrifice maybe maybe I let that supply pad die and I replace it with something like a uh uh, a vehicle depot. Turret complete. All units. To be fair, it's overcoming the um, the the issue of the hill, and I think there is something to be said about. You know, that ability for the siege turrets is... Is it maybe a sightline issue? Because there is... I don't know how well you can see it, but it, it does appear to be quite a steep angle. You know, it's not really a hill in the, you know... Like, real world way that hills work this is not a hill this is like oh you can kind of see it on that one this is like minecraft hilltop base where you you just like flatten the top off and that that's it you don't really make a hill you just make like a an elevated platform with slope sides and so i think it's it might be because this this line there's like a line right here i can kind of see it i don't know how well it shows up on video though um yeah that that slight line i think is messing with the um i think it's messing with the actual um Oh god, what's the word? Like, sight lines, that's, that's the one. And I think because it's messing with that, that's why it's doing the, uh... 
you know, they can't see it over this line. And so they, they just decide to not do anything. Whereas because this has an arc, it's sort of like mortaring over. Maybe that's not the reason, and it's just magic. I genuinely don't know. It, it could just be because this game's a bit fucking janky sometimes, and, you know, that's what happens. I want to get rid of that, and then we're going to laser these ones. Yeah. Should almost instantly deal with them. And then it's a Covenant base, so we're just going to go straight dismantle this. Anyone else has lasers left, they can use them. I'm going to drop one of those there. While we've got it, we might as well. Um... You guys, please move away. Don't stand in the fucking range of the turret for no reason. Can we get rid of this? And then, like that. I'm going to bring these guys back here slightly. Uh, just to deal with the wave. Hopefully they will actually prioritize properly. I shouldn't have to micro them too much. Uh, it doesn't seem that bad. It definitely feels easier, don't get me wrong. But it doesn't feel changed. It feels easier because I have a lot more time to prepare for the difficulty. It doesn't feel less difficult. Yeah, I guess it's, um, you know, if you want to use a comparison. It's a bit like if, um, you know, instead of waiting to, like, Lothric Castle to get the first Titanite Slab, if in Dark Souls 3 you got the first Titanite Slab before um, Abyss Watchers. Because they're, like, one of the first spikes in difficulty, at least, you know, for newer people. Um, you know, that, that's where the difficulty spikes noticeably. And so if you were just able to get a Titanite Slab before that, get a plus 10 weapon before that, which I'm, you know, you can, but... That wouldn't be changing the difficulty of the boss. That would just be changing, you know, your own... Um, I don't want to say your own difficulty level, but... You know what I mean? Like, your own um, preparation. It would be making... It wouldn't be making the boss less difficult. It would be making you more prepared, and therefore the boss easier. I, I don't know if that makes any fucking sense. Um, what I do know is we really need some sort of anti-vehicle. Which we don't get. I mean, we get spawns, yeah, but... What do the spawns get? They get a wraith. Okay, cool. What... What is a wraith going to do for it? I can't even see the extra spawn. I don't know where he is. Maybe he died. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Yep. So at least I'm not going fucking crazy. Um... 
I mean, we've definitely taken the base, don't get me wrong. To that extent, I'm just going to finish it off real quick. Just to get the uh, countdown started quicker. Now, the question is... Do we go... Um... Air pad, or do we go vehicle depot? Because banshees are an issue, don't get me wrong. We have upgraded infantry, and they are quite strong. We also have a dedicated anti air unit. Chain gun research. Um, that might be a bad sign. All units. Grenadier, research. I think we just go both. Yeah, so I'm going to bring all units over this way. This should be able to hold out. Actually, I'm going to take you two wraiths, and you can deal with that one. Hopefully. I'm going to put that there and hope it does something. I think that just glitched out once again, probably because of the fucked up terrain. Enemy engagement. Vehicle depot complete. Local unit. I'm not entirely sure if this um, is going to pay off. I thought the entire wave would be grouped up here, not still trickling in. You just have the Arbiter just casually fucking attacking our base. Um, you guys get rid of those please. I want some of them, uh, we are gonna probably... If we don't need to, um, you know, I have said several times that I think one of the, um, like, signs that you are going to lose is being unable to clear a wave before the next one spawns. I think that once you start getting stuck on waves, that's when you start getting overrun. Yeah, it's kind of obvious. Turret complete. Yeah, so one of the issues that we've got at the moment... Um, we've built up this base, and then got attacked at our original base, and so it split the wave in half, essentially. Half is going to our actual base, and half is going to the secondary one, which obviously we don't want to lose. Sorry, I really don't want this. I want you, if anything. Uh, yeah. Field armory complete. That's the issue we're having. We're sort of... Local units. Uh... I don't want to be fighting on two fronts. That's... A quick way to lose. Units. Engaging target. Up. Scan with. Like, we really need to be not. We need these to be dead before the next wave is spawning in. 
We can't keep fighting on two fronts. Although, I mean, we are kind of doing it. <laughs> it's just really not something I want to. You know, this, compared to the Flood one, feels difficult. And it feels difficult not in an unfair way. It feels difficult because we... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, it feels difficult because we split our forces when maybe we shouldn't have. You know, stuff like that. It's it's not difficult because, you know, we... You know, we got hit with, like, 10 Jackal units when we could only possibly make 5 Marines ourselves. Honestly, I could probably swap the original, um, I could probably swap this barracks to being a, uh, a vehicle thing. Ah, he's just out of range, I think. Yeah, I mean, highly effective against infantry, but to uh, to cost is uh, like kind of almost paradoxical. <laughs> you know, it, it's like I need a vehicle depot. Yeah, it's kind of like well, okay, you're good against infantry, but. I'm not worried about infantry at that point of the game. This, you know, genuinely could result in a loss, but one that isn't as... You know, one that feels more fair than how it used to. You know, I don't feel like this one... Yeah, you see, that clearly was a, an issue with the... Um, not pathfinding, but kind of pathfinding. You know, it's... It's more balanced. But I still don't think that it... Is balanced in the correct way. <laughs> That really fucking sucks. I know you have long range, but Jesus Christ. All units. Got it. Um. As I say, I think this might be uh might be the end. I I will try and close the bomb those, and that might be. Did that just fire a dud again? I think it did as well. Um, I say I I am I don't want to say happy to lose. I I would much rather lose something that is fair than something that is unfair. You know, if I win because, oh, skill issue, you shouldn't have split your army when you did. You know, should have split more, like, in half, rather than send the entire army to one position. You know, that's that's more fair, and I, I don't mind that. At the same time... I 
doubt that we are going to win this. Mantises are really strong. Man, this map. Oh, if only it was properly, uh, if only it worked. <laughs> Right, okay. Uh, there we go, we win. <laughs> I've won, I've won, I got to the Scarab. I know that my previous... Um, yeah, we get it, you have a small cock. Calm down. I know that I said before, I will count it as a win if we can kill the Scarab and survive until the next wave spawns. I'm going to be honest, that, that's not going to happen. We're not going to survive this. This is not something you win against. This is kind of what I was talking about, where I, I want to be overrun by something like this. I want to have that big... You know, that, that big thing that... <laughs> You know, that is better than just sitting around and doing nothing, even if you lose. Um, let's make one final push. All units. On the way. Three upgraded marine guys versus a scarab and 76 other enemies. Who will win? I don't think it's you. I'm actually going to put you back in there. Um, I do have 750 resources, and I do have one power. And so technically, I should, assuming that everything is still here, As soon as he starts taking damage. That was pretty fucking good. Um, th there's no way that we win this. I just wanted to see what would happen. Uh, I'm just going to run you into this. Because uh, it's the closest one. But yeah, as I say, this... Um, I don't think that there has been any actual changes to the way that the waves work or anything like that. I think there's just been an extra 30 second delay, which it is better than nothing, but the best way to, to solve the issue of waves being far too strong is to simply go in and change the waves themselves but as i've said in a few videos i don't know how they are actually decided i don't know if it is an algorithm or if they are individually um oh god what's the word like individually <sighs> like i don't know if waves come from an algorithm or if they come from like a text document of what should be spawned each wave, essentially. I don't know which one's which. Um, and so... Oh, man. Imagine, like, a cluster bomb just there. But, yeah. The, the waves... I am almost certain are the same. And so... I I don't want a, a different times. You know, I want them all to be balanced. 
And the issue with the original one, um, let me just look at the stats first. How many things did we actually kill? Is that it? Is that really it? It's like almost normal amounts. Yeah, the issue with the first iteration of this. Uh, sorry, when I say this, um, there have been three updates as far as I'm aware. Um, that include this specific uh, game mode, right? There was the initial one where it was the Flood Survival. There was then number two, uh, the update number two, where it added, you know, the, the other three factions. And then this is update three, where they've been, had the wave time has changed. I think, and I've said this before, I think what the game is doing, the way that it's coded, is that it spawns... You know, like, it spawns Vehicle Depot Unit 1, which, you know, is a, you know, it's it's a Scorpion, or it's a Wraith, or it's um, the, the Scouty, you know, like, the, the Forerunner Ghost type thing, or it's the, um, I think the one with a big, slappy tentacles for the flood it spawns one of those it doesn't spawn a wraith it doesn't spawn a scorpion it spawns vehicle depot slot one i don't think that that is inherently a bad thing I think that that is the easiest way to extrapolate one game mode into being four. It's just vehicle depot slot one is either a forerunner ghost equivalent. Ghosts are not very strong and the forerunner equivalent is also not very strong. The big slappy guy. Also, not very strong. A wraith is decently strong. A scorpion is even stronger. It is spawning, I, I believe at least. Once again, I don't know how this is coded. I'm not the creator. I don't have any knowledge of the code or anything like that. But I think that because it's doing that, that's what's causing these like insane fluctuations between um, the different modes because a wraith is not equal to a scorpion. Like you, you don't even need to know the values. You don't need to look at the data mine sheets and the wikis and all that sort of stuff to say that a wraith and a scorpion aren't equivalent. One costs 50% more than the other. It's going to be stronger. And so, when you make something like this, and you balance it around... The... Sorry, I thought my phone was ringing for a second. Um, when you balance it around that sort of algorithm for the flood, when you, you know, take that and you put it to the other things... It makes something that is perfectly functional, but not very well balanced. And this update has... It has taken the Covenant, and I assume UNSC, and it has made them less unbalanced. It has brought those two factions closer to being balanced. However, it has pushed the Flood, and I assume the Forerunners, further away from that point. So like, if, you, if you average the Flood, the Forerunners, the UNSC, and the, uh, the Covenant, 
if you take the average like percentage of being well balanced, you know, it will average out closer to the ideal balancing point than it did in the last update. The last update, the the flood and the Promethe uh, sorry, the foreigners were you know closer but the UNSC and the Covenant were way further away. I think that this is closer to everything being balanced, but I fundamentally, I don't think that this game and the differences between like corresponding unit slots, I don't think that you can change that without modifying either the the toughness of you know individual units or just changing the composition of waves manually i don't think that there can possibly be an algorithm that would you know balance the things out i think that unless the um, unless the waves are sort of manually programmed, and each different game mode has a slightly different algorithm or something like that, or that it is changed to maybe be um, like a maybe like a random thing would be kind of cool if I'm being honest. If it was like a random selection and each wave had a resource total cap that way you know if you had a 1500 cap of resources you could have three scorpions or you could have four wraiths and that would be pretty balanced and also, if it was completely random, it would be maybe more replayable. It might be super annoying in the beginning because sometimes you might just get spammed with complete anti-infantry. Um, stuff like that could work, but I'm not sure. You know, I'm sitting here and I'm speaking as the end user. I am saying, here's how to make this better. I am not taking into account, once again, that this is a a free download made by someone in their spare time with no um, expectation of money. You know, this is someone doing it just because they like the game. And so... I, I know full well that I'm sitting here and saying, oh, do this or do that. And it might just not be possible for someone, for someone like that to do, you know, in their spare time, essentially. You know, I, I might be asking too much. I genuinely don't know because, once again, my experience with creating mods is changing a few numbers and a few words in pre-existing factorio mods to create a compatibility patch you know that's that's all i've done you know that was in notepad with you know basic control f and copy pasting that's all i was doing you know it, it wasn't even in like a proper code editing thing and so maybe it would be too much maybe this game has no way of sort of programming that sort of stuff. That's not something that I am able to comment on. I'm just saying that would be the best way of doing it. <laughs> um, because, yeah, I feel like the flood used to pose a bit more of a challenge than it, than it did. And this, um, poses less of a challenge but still was a bit you know 
you could tell that some of the you know the, the like seven grunt squads at the beginning you could tell that that was probably meant to be infection forms you know which are a lot weaker than grunt squads as i say this is there is a reason why i am still playing this mod and that's because it's good and because i enjoy it i don't think that it's you know bad i just want you know, I'm criticizing it because I want it to be more balanced. Um, you know, because I want it to be as enjoyable as possible because I haven't had this crash. I've had all the units crash. Almost every single time I try and record something, I can force it to crash. You know, not, you know, or I can like find issues where I could do this or do that. Whereas this, this doesn't, this is stable. Somehow, I don't know how this can be stable, um, but it is. And so, the only criticism that I have with this mod is that these game modes are not balanced. And so, that's what, you know, it's... Um, it's much easier to criticize something because you notice it. You know, it's hard to say what, sorry, it's, it's harder to say what you like about something than what you dislike because the things that you don't like are more visible than the things that you do. You can look at something like this and say, that's not balanced. And, you know, you'd, you'd be right. This isn't incredibly well balanced, but it's hard to look at this and sort of explain why you like it other than just it's fun. You know, I, I'm terrible at explaining why I like things, which is, I, you know, I have um, like art friends on, on Twitter and shit. And I'm always like, this image brings me good feelings because I don't know how to explain. You know, I mean, it's just like I enjoy viewing the image you have created. I can't explain why I just do. And so, you know, whereas like sometimes you see like, you know, maybe they've posted a, a sketch or something, maybe you know, it was something like a, a timed challenge that they did for themselves. Or, you know, maybe it's, there are a few people that I, you know, follow and their skills are not incredible. And you can look at them and go, this doesn't look very good. But like, you know, they're doing it for free. And so I'm I'm not gonna sit there and be like, oh, this looks terrible. And I don't even if I did know enough about art, um, I would find it kind of personally, I wouldn't feel comfortable with like going, Oh, this is why this image is bad. This is what you should change. Whereas with this, I feel like you know, maybe I'm sucking myself off a bit too much because I have played this game for quite a long time and because you know i've probably got like 500 or so hours in this game at least um playing against the ai um you know this channel itself has um like proof i have tried every single mod that has been released uh for this game and that has been uploaded to nexus mods i know that there is uh mod db um i think is the other one but um looking at that site makes me feel even if i didn't download anything merely opening that site um i can hear my computer fans start spinning faster i'm not saying that everything on there is a virus i'm just saying 
sure as fuck looks like it. And so there are a few things over there that are exclusively on there. Um, if I'm being honest, none of them look that interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I sort of feel like I have this, um, this position where I can sort of look at this and, you know, because I know some of how the game uh, internally works, I can sort of say like, oh, this is what's going on. This is why, you know, maybe this doesn't feel quite balanced. Does it matter? Is the mod author going to watch, you know, what was it like two hours today of video to hear my criticisms? Probably not. If I'm being completely honest, uh, I would much rather them spend two hours um, rebalancing the mod. <laughs> you know, this is a... Um, I don't know how many. I, I genuinely don't look, but like 100 subs or so. Um, YouTube channel with zero editing. Um, the budget for this channel is the like the 50p in electricity and the um to be fair like this uh, my headphone set is um it's like actually a good headphone set it's like 150 quid all right yeah sure i got it on sale for like 60 but it's um like it's a, a decent um, LG, I think. Fairly sure. You know, it's not a bad headphone set. It's just for some reason the built-in microphone is shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I, I'm not going to be like, oh, I want the model author to watch all of my videos and hear my criticisms. If I, you know, if I wanted to do that, I would just write another comment on the Nexus Mod page. <laughs> you know, I... In the grand total of almost a decade of uploading to this uh, this platform, I made, I think, five pence in ad revenue. And that was on... Um, like, that was a long time ago. And since then, they have changed the rules of monetization. Um, so you basically, you know, I would be unable to get anything from this anyway. Uh, I'm playing this because being forced to talk about something while you're doing it makes you think more. If I wasn't recording this, I would just be like, yeah, fuck it, give me uh, two supply pads, uh, a reactor, a third supply pad, and then we'll upgrade them. Just completely regarding that you're going to get swamped by the first wave. I would just be on, like, complete autopilot, you know, just brain off. And that also kind of means that you don't really engage with the mod. You just kind of... You just experience things, and that's that's it, really. And so that's that's the reason why I record shit <laughs> is is just to um you know make me think about what I'm doing. I I I know like my brain doesn't fucking work. <laughs> um and so thinking about things is like slightly thinking about things rather than really um, really in-depth talk and, and shit like that. You know, it's obviously not scripted. I'm not writing things down and, you know, properly analyzing, but you know, I would just have no thoughts if I recorded this. Sorry, if I didn't record this. And, you know, hey, I get to be a niche micro celebrity in the halo wars youtube modded scene it's a accolade i will surely get engraved on my fucking gravestone 